these Calico firearms are really unique. They're lightweight, they're portable, they have a lot of features, and they have large magazines, 50 or 100 round capacity. The official Calico slogan is, the revolution in firepower has begun. And by golly, I think you could make a pretty good case for that assertion, although the revolution in firepower was put on hold by a silly ass federal law for about 10 years. Calico makes basically two designs, a nine millimeter semi-automatic and a 22 semi-automatic. Now they take both these basic actions and offer them in either uh, carbine configuration or pistol configuration. Uh, there are a number of things to like about the Calico. It's very lightweight, uses very modern uh, manufacturing materials. There was one problem, and that was not necessarily a design problem, that was a federal legislative problem, the assault weapon ban of 1994. Now this was a little American manufacturing company producing a very novel firearm and basically they were put right the hell out of business by the 10 round ban. The Calico, the gun that, that the Crime Act of 1994 killed. It was, it, it disappeared after that because it, the gun was focused exactly on its magazine and the magazine was what got outlawed. That disappeared, that evaporated. And the poor guy, uh, his business just went poof when that happened. And it never reappeared. The idea apparently was, a, was an intriguing one because uh, the Russians in an experimental submachine gun copied it virtually line for line. The gun was called the Bison. Uh, it was an intriguing idea of compacting uh, a large magazine capacity uh, longitudinally, which nobody's done before. The, uh, the Calico is a neat gun. It was de designed and developed in California. It looks futuristic as hell. Uh, and and it, it, it jumps every boundary. It takes things that we all think, uh, take for granted with firearms designs and just jumbles them up. And, and, and in so doing, it actually comes up with some pretty cool stuff. The Calico is probably more recognizable for its use as a simulated laser gun in science fiction movies. Some serious, some not so serious. You'll see it in Total Recall, the original, not the remake. You'll see it in Spaceballs. And for anyone who lived through the 1990s and can remember that era prior to the 1994 assault weapons ban, you might remember that these were abundantly available. This is the M900 calico light weapon in 9mm Luger. They also had the 100 series, which fired 22 long rifle. The fact that the ammunition is on top of the gun and the actual magazine is part of your sight picture uh, allows you to keep an eye on the fact that, well, you may or may not be running out pretty soon. You can't see that uh, with any other gun that you, you know, where your magazine, can, where your ammo count is. And it balances the gun. Having that magazine up top literally balances the gun. And as you shoot it, you don't lose, you don't have to compensate uh, for changing shifts in balance uh, because the, uh, you're, you're shooting 50 or 100 round, you know, mags out of this, this gun. And it's, uh, it's a great gun as far as its, its uh, practicality and uh, its durability. It's a very ungainly gun, uh, especially the semi-automatic pistol. So you've got a pistol uh, that works on HK principles. It's a delayed uh, roller locking blowback mechanism. Uh, but you, you have this little, little gun making use of polymers and other space age materials, whatever that means, and, and it's, just, it's just unbalanced, it's ungainly. The carbine was a much better idea because it handled a lot better. Uh, between, and when you put the gun between the hands, yeah, it pointed fairly well. 
There is a version of the gun actually made today uh, because the crime bill expired uh, in 2004. Uh, the, the limitations on magazine capacity, it seems, didn't have anything to do with crime, so they were allowed to expire. And the guns, uh, we reviewed them here at American Rifleman, uh, and they were really fun to shoot. Uh, there was a lot of innovative engineering in there. Uh, that magazine, uh, you're, you're, you're not uh, stressing the springs. It, it's, it's very, very clever. But this helical magazine, when mounted in a firearm like the Calico M900, it gives the firearm these really sleek lines. When you consider firearms that were abundant and popular at the time that this was introduced, firearms like the MP5 submachine gun, for example, with a 30 round detachable boxed magazine sticking out from the bottom of the weapon. Uh, but this was an attempt to engineer away from a protruding box magazine, and this was an attempt to engineer toward a more sleek firearm. And that is certainly something that was accomplished because although you can't really say a lot of nice things about the Calico M900, you can at least say it is sleek in a way that other firearms just aren't. There are plenty of the vintage Calicos out there, but the guns too are in production. That's all the time that we have for this week. If you like this show and you're not an NRA member, you need to join right now. Go to AmericanRifleman.org. I'm Mark Keefe, and I'll see you next week right here on American Rifleman Television.